Today on American Blacksmith, we're going to finish carving the zebra head out of zebra Damascus. I take the remaining part of the Damascus bar and cut it in half. in the muzzle, getting ready to put the nose and the eyes. pre-marked, punch the areas for the nostrils. First impressions are very important. <laughs> Flare out through the nostrils and go this way. this side, what I want to do is continue to take it slow. And enlarge that eye, the same side, and the size is the other side, and keep them even. Keep them even. 
from back to the front. I should say the other way. Before I finished carving, I went ahead and etched this a couple times in acid. And then we're going to go ahead and finish off the ears, the eyes, and make the mouth slightly larger. Okay, I have the ears about where I want them, but I'm going to use the side of this heavy chisel to bring them out. Make sure I don't burn the material. Okay, we have the ears done. We need to enlarge the eyes sockets and point them up and back. And then use this little tiny eyeball punch. Being hard, of course, it makes it more difficult to chisel, and it's also slippery. see that yeah there she is yeah that worked out and get this other side Making a happy zonkey. I should say Zors.
after the head here, we have the body with the twists in it. So here's what we ended up with, with the eye, which took three chisels to make the eye socket, then the oval eye, and then the final eye itself. So we got the nostrils, the size I wanted them. I want them slightly flared out. And then the mouth, I didn't want to get it oversized. Three zonkeys and a zorus, a zebra horse. So I decided to turn this into a zorus. And it's imperative that when I forge welded this together that it's solid forge weld all the way back because otherwise there's going to be a seam cross here and it's going to split apart when we do all this heavy hammering, especially with the nickel being hard and slippery. We have a couple shout outs to a couple of fellow American blacksmiths for their consistent positive comments. Uh, we've got swag for you. So if you send us a mailing address to our website listed below, we'll make sure you get one of these. We'll see you next time on American Blacksmith.